The objective of targeted cancer therapy is to deliver chemotherapeutics directly to the cancer tissues while minimizing undesirable toxicity to the rest of the body. Nanoparticle formulation begins with a solution of drug and polymer molecules in an organic solvent. The blue spheres represent an anti-cancer chemotherapeutic agent, while the white strands represent dye block copolymers, which are realistically more flexible than shown here. A dye block copolymer is composed of two joined polymer chains, a hydrophilic or water-loving block, shown in blue, and a hydrophobic or water-fearing block, shown in orange. Nanoparticle formation is accomplished via the dropwise addition of the organic solution to rapidly stirred water. The initially disordered copolymers rapidly self-assemble at the organic water interface of the nanodroplets, reorienting themselves so that the hydrophobic blocks are surrounded and stabilized by the hydrophilic blocks. This polymeric coating can be subsequently surface modified with various cancer targeting ligands such as antibodies or small molecules. The nanoparticle solution can then be modified into a form to allow for intravenous administration. The nanoparticles are quickly distributed throughout the body by the circulatory system with which they are also delivered to the site of the tumor. One hundred times smaller than red blood cells, nanoparticles possess the unique ability to permeate through the leaky walls of tumor vasculature, which are formed during the process of tumor growth. Through this passive targeting technique, the nanoparticles can be concentrated within the tumor tissue. On the cancer cell surface membrane, the nanoparticles encounter surface receptor molecules, microscopic markers expressed on cancer cells but not expressed by normal tissue. The nanoparticles targeting ligands bind specifically to these receptors, triggering a response also known as receptor-mediated endocytosis, which draws the nanoparticles into the cancer cell. This process enables thousands of nanoparticles to enter into each of the targeted cancer cells. Inside the cell, the nanoparticles are enveloped in endosomes. These endosomes merge to form larger endosomes, or eventually lysosomes, the digestive stomachs of cells. The anti-cancer drugs can be released in a controlled manner by the degradation of the polymer nanoparticle shell. The highly toxic chemotherapy can thus be delivered directly at the site of intended action without affecting other body systems. Typically, the drugs will cause the cancer cells to undergo apoptosis, or programmed cell death. This nanoparticle therapy can eventually lead to the eradication of the tumor mass.